hey hi guys welcome to my next video in this video I'm going to talk about how can we configure Cisco ACI using Terraform solution Terraform is a HashiCorp's infrastructure as a code solution which we will be using to configure ACI simulator so about the Terraform Terraform is pretty much same as how Ansible is there are certain differences like you can configure Terraform in Windows you can use it for the cloud based object you can destroy a cloud based object using terraform so there are a couple of differences so this video is not about explicitly talking about terraform so this is a kind of a demo where i'm going to use my terraform code files and i'll be configuring this aci simulator so it's a quite new simulator if i go to tenant you can see there are no configuration i only have the default tenants so let me bring my Terraform code here. So as you can see, I have two files, main.tf variable.tf. I will be uploading these two files into my GitHub library and you guys can access and the link will be given in the description. So first of all, in main.tf, on top, I'm using the required provider as the Cisco ACI inside that i configured a provider uh, named as aci where i have given the credentials and the url to access my aci simulator then i created a resource for this provider named as aci tenant and the name of this tenant is go going to be stored under variable so var dot i'm redirecting it to variable and then tenant where whatever i have configured under variable for this tenant Similarly, I will be creating an application profile inside the tenant directory. Name will be var dot application profile, which is in the variable file. I'll show you just in a while. And then below down, I'll be using this application EPG to create an EPG. Here I have a special command for each. For each command is basically used to create multiple EPGs. So if I go to variable, you can see under tenant, I have my tenant name. Under app, I have my app name, application profile name. And under EPG, I have a list where I have my all the EPG name. So I'm going to create four EPGs here. Okay. So to use this one, I need to initialize Terraform. Okay. To initialize Terraform, let me access my terminal. So Terraform is already installed in my MacBook. You can install in MacBook, you can install in Linux, you can install in Windows. There are many URLs already given to how to install this Terraform. If you still need some help in the installation of Terraform, just ask your question in the description box, I'll help you out. So the first thing which you need, you should be in the directory where you have these two files, main.tf and variable.tf and you need to give terraform in it to initialize the terraform so my terraform has been successfully initialized i can check which version of terraform i am using so terraform version so i'll be using terraform version 1.5.5 and i'll be using cisco devnet aci version 2.10.1 okay it's a provider registry so you can configure you can use the registry whatever you want to next is i'll go and say terraform plan terraform plan will showcase me what exactly is going to configure by the use of this code so if i press enter there will be plan six objects to be added zero to change zero to destroy if i go up and look into these objects so here it will be creating EPGs. Okay, so I'll be having multiple EPGs. So this is my first EPG. Then I have my second EPG. Then this is my third EPG, and this is my fourth EPG, which is going to be configured. Then we are going to configure application profile, and then there will be a tenant. So it's not in sequence that how it is going to get configured. It just shows you the objects which are going to get configured. After looking at it and you make sure that okay all the settings are as per the code next command you need is terraform apply 
as soon as you give it will again show you what you got into the plan and it will ask you are you sure to configure so you just need to tell yes and it will start configuring it so it will show you all the objects which are getting created and at the end you will see application apply complete resource 6 6 added 0 changed 0 destroyed okay so let's go back to our simulator and you can see it got created okay i have given the description created from terraform i'll open it inside that i have an application profile created and inside application profile i have all my epgs created so with this we can configure all our configurations such as access policies if you want to create contract map with them with the epgs you want to create bridge domains l3 out whatever configurations you want in aci you can do it with the help of terraform so it's just a demo you can explore it and if you have any question anything related to this you can ask me in the comment box i'll be more than happy to answer you also do let me know if you wanted to explore more on how you can configure aci using terraform so hope you like the video guys and don't forget to subscribe me thank you bye